welcome back to our channel this is another cooking with video but this time it's cooking with salvi so today we're going to be making chili slow cooked chili so our first ingredient is ground beef you can use chunked beef if you like a chunkier chili but you need about 500 grams this is more than that and then onion one's more than enough if you're going to have more beef then you need to have a bit more onion but that was a good sized onion two cloves of garlic you can mince it if you want but I prefer to chop it and then for the other ingredients you need chopped tomatoes with the liquid chilli powder if you want it spicier you could use something a bit stronger or even chilli flakes as well hot paprika or normal paprika I prefer hot adds a little bit of extra flavour and then ground cumin and ground coriander and salt and pepper right now let's get these into the pot so first goes in our beef now we're going to add the garlic and onion there we go that's in there you don't need to mix it at all really it will all cook nicely in the pot now we're going to add one can of chopped tomatoes and all the liquid as well. You don't ever want to have a dry slow cooker if you can help it. Okay, that's the wet ingredient. So in terms of these ones, the dry ingredients, I normally put a tablespoon, but you can put more or less if you prefer it for your flavour. Obviously, salt and pepper is just a taste, but yeah, I'm going to use a tablespoon of each. Okay, so this is our chilli. Here's our paprika. Again, with these it doesn't really matter the order. You just need to do the wet stuff first and the mince goes on right at the bottom. Here is our coriander. And cumin. Now we're just going to salt and pepper it. I'm only going to add a little bit of salt and pepper now because you can always add that later on. You can also use fresh coriander and cumin seeds if you want to, but I've never found that to be as good as dried. Okay, so that's it all in the pot. We're not going to mix it up, like I said, we're going to let it all cook together. And this is the easy bit. Now all we do is put the lid on. And then we put it on low in the slow cooker for around eight hours. Okay, so eight hours later, well over eight hours later, there we have it, our chili. Mmm, that looks so good. It smells really nice too. So obviously you can have it with whatever you want. Uh, for me, I have a rice or a jacket potato. Oh, and bonus, for you fellas out there, don't make a mess and leave it. Unless you want to have a very unhappy partner. And that's it for this Cooking with Selby episode. Let me know if you like the recipe or if you have any ideas on how to improve it. I'm up for all ideas and suggestions. So put them in the comments down below. Thanks. Bye-bye.